was 10 years old. I uh, started um, with an Instamatic camera. I got my first 35 millimeter when I was uh, 16 years old. It was a Hanamax Practica 1B, if anybody <laughs> remembers those. Um, that, that brand's not around anymore. Hmm. And uh, through high school um, and college, I worked uh, for a newspaper, a local newspaper, as a photographer. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I accidentally muted you. You have to unmute yourself. I... Okay. Okay, sorry. Got it. I'm unmuted. Uh, so I um, took pictures through high school and, and, and through college. I also worked at my college as a photographer for the theater department. So um, I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I went into the, into the banking industry for better part of 40 years and photography took a little more of a backseat, but uh, was always present and always something important to me and took lots of pictures on, uh, I particularly like travel photography. So a lot of uh, pictures on vacations and then, um, Five years ago, I retired and uh, have been able to go back to doing a lot more of uh, what I love. And of course, I moved from film to digital, as did we all, um, as we, you were talking about earlier. Uh, I am the president of the Cranberry Digital Camera Club. Hello, Walter, down there in the corner on my screen. Walter's one of our members, um, as well as one of your members. And been doing that for two years. Um, I've won awards, um, certainly in my club. Um, my photo was chosen as the uh, best picture of the year last year. So I'm honored to be judging your club's best picture of the year for, for this year. Uh, I recently received uh, first place for landscape image at the Abbott Marshlands um, competition. And um, I just uh, really enjoy photography as I, I'm sure you all do as well. And I'm, I'm very um, pleased to be here tonight. Okay, thank you, Debbie. Uh, I guess I'll share my screen and we can start. We're gonna start with the group one. There are 49 pictures in group one. Uh, group one is the, uh, our beginner level. If anybody has trouble seeing or hearing anything, uh, I guess uh, send me uh, a chat so I can see it. You said 49 images, correct? And we're doing correct. first, second, and third. Do we do any honorable mentions? Just first. Yeah, second. well, if there, if there are multiple not more nines than, they get the, than, than uh, three, right. then they become honorable mention. Okay. Uh, first okay. pass is, like I, I think I sent it in the email, first pass is just either in or out. Oh, that's and, right. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. And then, uh, then we'll do a second pass where they get seven, eight, or nine as the score. And hopefully I remember how to do this because I haven't done this for a while. Orchid offshoots. Okay, in. In? Yes. Okay. And if I can figure out why this isn't working here. Okay. Need replacement windows. Um, out. Yellowstone Terrace. In. Textured concrete. In. Making a decision. Out. Also, if you, I, I should have said this also, if you want to discuss the picture in any way. Uh, oh, do we're do at this point, not at the point when? Um, at this point, because this way you'll, every, it's on all okay, the pictures. Just so you know why. Okay. All right. Um, it, it, the photo, I like the photo, uh, the subject of the photo. I wish I could see her 
face uh, and I'm finding the top uh, above the um, above the photos are a little distracting. I almost would have cut that out if this was my photo um, because it's a bright spot. Your eye tends to go to it and your subject is, is the woman uh, looking at the photo. And that's the reason. Okay. Do you want to go back uh, so I can give comments on the other ones that uh, I did? I'm not sure if I know how to go back. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I'm not the one who does this normally, so. Okay. Juggler silhouette. Uh, Lynn, in. No comments? Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I love the silhouette. Um, I like the action. I like the simplicity. I like the, um, the gradation from uh, the bottom to the top of the, the um, colors and the fact that uh, there's nothing there uh, to distract the eye. Uh, your eye goes right to the uh, whatever it is that she's throwing around there. It looks like she has a hammer in her one hand. Whatever it is that's lit on fire, uh, or it may even be a he, can't really tell. But uh, no, very, very nice photo. Definitely in. Want a cup? Um, I'm going to say out. And the main reason, um, It's, it's a nice photo and I, I like the, um, the peeling paint and so forth. Um, you know what, I'm gonna change my mind, Harvey. Let's keep this one in. Cause I was initially gonna say that it, it bothered me because it's somebody else's art, but what the photographer here focused on is the painting, uh, the peeling paint and also the um, vines that are growing on the, um, on the picture, so yeah, let's keep this one in. Okay. Waiting. It's a great. Um, it's a great candid. Um, and it's a good juxtaposition between him and the man in the background. Um, so we're gonna keep this one in too. Arizona Peaks. I'm gonna say out on this one and it's uh, because of the processing more so than the composition. If you look up in the clouds, it looks like, um, not sure exactly what happened, but it, it, it may have been done on purpose, but from my eye, it, it looks more like it wasn't on purpose. Uh, I'm seeing a bunch of graininess in the, the gray of the clouds. Um, so to me, it just looks over processed. So we're, we're gonna leave this one out. Okay. Corks. I'm gonna say out on this one. And the reason is there's nothing or hardly anything that's that's in focus. Um, very little sharply in focus. I, I guess the best focus is more up towards the top left and my eye kind of wants to focus on what's in the center and I'm, and I'm not able to do that. So I think we'll leave this one out. Algae in the ocean. Then leave this one out also. Um, I would, I, it's a nice composition. Um, I like the rocks and the slickness and the, the water. You can see how the water has come over the rocks and made them wet. And you can see all that wetness and the, the waves are pretty. Um, what bothers me is the, um, the rocks as, as the focus of the photo. You can't see the, the um, surfaces of the rocks. Um, they probably could be brought up in post-processing um, using something like Viveza um, to bring up the shadows or even just try bringing up the shadows in um, whatever program it is you use. So it's a nice composition, but I'm gonna take it out because of the, um, the lack of detail in the shadows. What's inside of a cat's head when staring out of the window? Oh, that's in. That, that's that's 
That's really cute. Very nice. Um, this this is tough. Um, it it's it's nicely done. Um, the 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 window looks a little crooked, but I I think it might just be a little bit of keystoning uh, effect because um, the camera is tipped up, but it's not terribly distracting. I think it's really the, the subject and um, the two subjects, the one in the front and the one in the back are um, uh, make up for it. And it, it is straight because I see the horizontal straight and I think the window in the back is straight. It's just that side, that left side of the, uh, the larger window uh, that's keystoning a little bit. Arctic Wolf. Oh, what a handsome guy, huh? Um, I'm gonna say no on this one because it's, it, it, to my eye, it's not sharply in focus and uh, particularly with animals and people, anything that's alive, you wanna be really, really careful that at least the eyes are in focus. And um, this to me looks, looks soft. The whole image actually looks soft. Leaves. Interesting processing. Um, let's keep this one in. This is um, um, clever. Um, very unusual to see leaves in black and white like this. You know, the, the um, tendency is, you know, just to keep leaves in color. And I think that was a, a good choice on this photographer's part. I like the leaves. I like the, the clouds in the background. It's a little blown out um, in some of the clouds, like in the bottom right-hand corner, there's no, uh, no detail. So it's a little too bright, um, but it's still a nice image. So let's keep it in. Thank you. <laughs> um, Pretty flowers. Um, it's an interesting concept. Um, I and I like the I like the pebbles also, but I don't know that I like the two of them together. I think it makes the image look a little bit too busy. I'm glad that the photographer um, vignetted a little bit along the edges, um, but it's still unfortunate to my eye that it's. Um, it's just very busy because the flowers have one kind of a texture and a lot of it. And then the stones in the background have another kind of texture and they kind of compete for my attention. So um, we'll leave this one out. Macy's, Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Very nice. Uh, I love the colors. I love the leading lines of the guy, the, the trumpeter in the front and leading your, your eye all the way to the back. And then you look at those green guys in the back and my eye is likes to move all around this photo, um, you know, starting in a circle and then kind of going off in a serpentine. Um, yeah, I like this a lot and we'll keep this in. To the top of the mountain. Look at that visa advertising on the side <laughs> of a tram. Um, I think that's the Sandias. I'm not sure, but um, um, it's a beautiful mountain in the background. I, I really like the texture in it, and um, um, you can really see how high up the, this little—I forget what you call them—little funicular thing. Uh, aerial car is going. Um, we're losing some of the detail, I think, in the cloud that's um, just above the little, you know, enclosure, uh, and that's bothering me. And the bottom right is very dark, and um, it looks like it, you need to bring up some of the details in that. And maybe even the details, I can, I can see that there's people in there. And I bet you if you um, 
pulled up the shadow on those windows, you might actually see some detail of the photo of the people, which would make this uh, even even more interesting. But I think we'll leave this one out, Harvey. Okay. Cracks are the signs of age. That's nicely seen. Very nicely seen. Um, I like that the uh, photographer knew not to put that crack smack in the middle of the picture because if they had, it definitely would um, have have ruined it in my mind. Um, I like that it's slightly off to the right. Um, the I like the different textures. Um, I wish there was a little more contrast in it, um, but um, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I think we'll leave this one out though. Just thinking of the others. Fall seeks mother's comfort. That's nicely captured. Um, you know, it's hard to keep horses, you know, get uh, animals when they're standing still and foals, um, they don't stand still for very long. Um, that's a big mama. Um, I like the that you've gotten all the detail in the horses, both of the horses. I'm a little concerned it almost looks a little over processed in um, the front of the mama. Um, there's something going on there with the processing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll leave this one out, Harvey. Okay. Rust painting. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're going to keep this one in. Um, I like the varied colors. I like the uh, handle um, positioned off on the right. Uh, there's good um, definition. Um, there's a lot to look at in the rust. It's interesting. Um, the photographer picked an interesting patch to look at. And um, I, I like it. It's the, the rust is artistic in and of itself and the photographer made it more so by picking that spot to take the picture. We'll keep that one in. Red door. That is interesting. Um, I love the texture I, I, then the, the capturing of the texture on the on the um, sides. And this is a case where this this needed to be in the center. It really did. And it's it's very evenly spaced all around top and bottom. And I think in this case, that was that was the right way to, to shoot this this image. Um, so we're going to leave this one in. Happy as a lark. Oh, how adorable. What a cutie. I like that, uh, obviously the expression is wonderful um, and, and you captured it beautifully. Um, I also like the definition in, in the dress that you can see, you know, white is hard and white when white and black together is very hard. And I, I think we are seeing that a little bit here that the black, um, you know, looks like it must be uh, velvet or something. And we're losing little definition in that, but it's not that important because what's most important, of course, is the baby's face, and um, and that's that's came out wonderful. So we'll we'll leave this one in. It's adorable. Looking for lunch. Yeah, flying birds. They 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 elude me. I have to tell you, um, I've kind of given up on them. Um, it's really takes a whole lot of practice. And um, you know, I admire that this this person is 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 doing just that and is is out there photographing uh, the birds. Um, one of the things about bird photography that I do know is when you have a bright light like this and you have a white bird, um, you need to automatically start out with your camera set. Um, 
how do I say this, a little, a little underexposed. So you do like a minus one off of your exposure, uh, minus two, um, minus two might be too much. But um, the reason I'm saying that is because if you look at the wing, we've lost a, most of the definition of that white wing. And it's because again, that the camera averaged the light and unfortunately saw that white wing and um, just blew that one out because it, it just went above the average. And again, um, very important that the eye be um, in focus. And I, I don't see that here, um, but keep working at it. Um, it, it it's definitely, you got, you got the bird in the frame. Um, you got a nice um, wing flap. Um, you just keep up at it and, and, and you'll get it. And, um, um, you know, I think this, this will, this will be good, uh, but we're going to leave this one out. An old doc. It's an interesting subject. I like the, um, the leading lines out of the, um, you know, from the, the front out into the distance. I kind of wish there was more out in the distance because you're leading my, 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 you're leading my eye out and then I don't have anything to look at when it gets there. Um, you could argue that, you know, it's the, there's a lot of interest in the, the first board and um, that, that would be sufficient. Um, but I'm kind of looking at the, the leading lines and saying, I, I want to see what's beyond what my eye is being led out to. Um, so I think we'll leave this one out. Explosion. That looks like a day lily. Beautiful. I love the patterns. I, I really like the, the pinks, the uh, magentas that are broadcasting out from the center mixed in with the green uh, and the stamen in the middle. Um, Close-up photography is, is, is very tough because it's so hard to how much you can get into focus and I guess that's why some of the pros do the, the focus stacking where they actually take different expo uh, different um, focuses at different points so that the stamen can be in um, focus as well as the leaves, as well as that center area. Um, on this photo, I think sort of towards the front and sides of the stamen is where the focus, where the, the photo is in focus. Um, but I like this. I think we're going to leave it in because of the colors are gorgeous. Stand tall. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. We'll definitely keep this in. Um, can't tell what he's sitting in. It's obviously something man-made or sitting on top of. I love the backlighting. I, I love, I just love backlighting, period. I just think it's always a wonderful light to, to capture. And um, I like that the background is dark uh, and maybe even darkened a little. It almost looks like maybe even that was done on purpose and maybe even fuzzed out a little. So that's, that's great processing. Um, you can clearly see the eyes. You can clearly see the body. You can see the underneath of the body. Um, so this is well exposed and um, nicely composed. Um, we're gonna keep this one in. Halloween. Nice, very nice, nice artwork. Um, it's great to spend some time, you know, fooling around with the filters and, and making things look like um, not a photo, as I call it. As a matter of fact, our club competition next month is make a photo not look like a photo. And um, this, this would be a candidate for, um, for that kind of a competition. Um, my my um, comments would be, uh, something's going on to the left of the stem. 
um, if you notice, there's sort of like white, um, a white section to the left of the stem. And that's kind of drawing my eye and I'm kind of wondering what that is. Uh, so that's bothering me a little. I also would have, if this was my image, I would have actually added what I call breathing room, just a little bit of room on the top. And it's very easy to do. Um, and a lot of, and certainly easy to do in Photoshop. Um, you just expand the canvas and then you do a, a, an automatic fill. Um, I would want just a little bit of breathing room. So either crop differently um, if there is anything up above there or uh, filled in if there, there isn't anything in the photo. But I like this and we're, we're gonna keep it in. Seashells. Ah, the Jersey Shore. <laughs> I like the uh, composition, it's nicely done. Um, I like that you can see the detail in, in all of them, that the uh, white shell, you can still, it's not blown out, you can see all the detail in the shell um, and the darker shells you can see as well. Um, this is another one I might've given like a little spot of breathing room on the right um, so that the side of the shell isn't bumping up against the, the side of the, the frame as much. Um, but I think we're gonna leave this one out. Ultra abstraction. It is indeed an abstraction. Um, very even, evenly handled, straight, interesting. Um, I like this image um, quite a bit. No, this is definitely staying in. I uh, love the, um, really love the texture and the yellow. And I like how the photographer was so careful where they cropped, um, that everything's even. The same amount of the silver is cropped on the bottom and on the top and the sides are um, um, done very nicely. It's just very well done. Definitely leaving it in. Silent. Nice black and white. Very nice black and white, very nice image. Um, I love the softness of it. I love the receding trees going back into the, the background. Um, I love the white, um, you know, the absence of, of anything in the image. Um, this is very nicely done. Um, we'll leave this one in. Heat of my heart. Beautiful key, gorgeous. Nice, I can, I can see why the photographer chose to photograph this. Very interesting textures. Um, Not not real real thrilled with the background. I think it's I think it's a little distracting. Um, so I, I think we're going to leave this one out. Ryan's truck. <laughs> nice colors. Love the colors. Um, so much green. Um, A good composition. Um, I have to say, you guys have a good group of beginners. Really, really good group of beginners. Um, you do some nice work. Love the textures. Um, the one thing I find a little distracting, and um, if this was my image, I, I would have probably cloned it out, is that one looks like a piece of willow or something that's um, draped over the bottom right corner of the of the image, um, I would have taken that out. Um, but other than that, I like it and uh, let's keep it in. Forgotten Pier.
I like the subject. I like the um, the clouds, the um, the pinks. Um, I like the browns in the um, in the water. I think what I would have done, and if this was my image, I would have cropped it a little differently. Um, I would have come up some more from the bottom so that it was more horizontal. And the blacks on either side are kind of bothering me. Like the, there's a, um, you can't see where I'm pointing, but there's a, a pier, a tall pier on the left. Um, I, I would have probably cropped be in front of that so that it wasn't there because it's a little distracting. And then there's some dark area on the right as well that I think I would have cropped up closer to that, the tall pier that's on the right. And I might also have cropped out or, or cloned out the um, horizontal black, whatever that is, piece of wood in the um, bottom left corner. And I think doing those things, it would be a, a stronger composition. Um, but as it is, it, it was nicely seen. Um, so I think we'll keep this in as well. Ready for your close up? <laughs> now, here's a good, a, a well done. Um, I like the fact that it's so close. And this is a, a great. This is a good example of uh, uh, an image where the photographer did get the eyes in focus and also managed to get a lot else in focus. So this must have been a, a very small aperture. Um, and it, if it was a zoom, it couldn't have been a very, um, very long zoom. So you must have been, you're either pretty close or you, were, you did some cropping on this or had a really, really good lens. <laughs> but this is nice. This is very nicely done. Um, I love. I really do like the crop on it, and I love all the textures that you can see. So many different ones, and the eyes are in focus, which is so very important. So we'll keep this one in. Me in the sun. Nice. Very nice. Um, Nice silhouette, great colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, and the sun's not blown out. I, I think that's great. You, you manage to capture it or uh, I, I, I sometimes cheat when I'm shooting directly at the sun and I'll clone a little texture over the sun uh, to make sure it isn't, uh, it isn't blown out. And whatever this photographer did here, um, it works. And um, it, it looks very good. Um, I love the texture in the water, and I like the I like the the orange at the top offset by the dark at the bottom. I I think that's very interesting. So um, we'll keep this in. White peacock butterfly. Wow. So this looks like um, it was purposely processed as an artistic image um, and pretty nicely done. Um, I'm, I'm just bothered by the, the center of the butterfly and the fact that I, I just can't see any details and it's so bright. So my eyes going to it but my eye isn't, doesn't have any details to go to in that very, very bright area. So I think unfortunately we'll leave this one out. Slow going. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that must've been a trip of a lifetime. It's great. I love the shadows. Um, I don't, I don't know, since the shadows are the subject, I, I'd like to see them a little bit sharper. Um, the composition is good. You've got a good rule of thirds going here with the, the bottom third is the darker part. The middle third is the, um, 
um, the sand dune itself, and then the upper third is the, the very, very blue sky. So it's, it's well composed. I, I just wish they were just a little bit sharper. So I, I think we'll leave this one out. Flying alone. Very pretty colors in the sky. Um, I'm seeing some, what looks like it might be over processing in the colors, particularly in the upper section. Um, it looks like they're, they're very, um, like possibly a little oversaturated. It also looks like there might be a spot on the either the lens or the um, uh, the sensor in the if you look in the above the um, bird's wing up in that section um, that could be easily pretty that could be cloned out pretty easily. Um, so I think we'll leave this one out, Harvey. Okay. Blue heron strikes. Yeah, again, the, the, it, it's, the, you got, did really well with the textures on the feathers and the textures, the texture in the water as well. Um, there's almost, you know, I'm, I'm, my eye is competing a little bit with the texture of the bird and the texture of the water. And unfortunately, his eye is not sharply in focus. His, his whole head looks a little bit out of focus, as a matter of fact. Um, I think it's probably motion blur um, in this case because the, the the field is flat, pretty flat. So I think it might be motion blur, um, which might be might be able to correct um, in post processing and get it up a little bit more. Um, but it is an awful lot of different textures competing for uh, for my attention. So um, I think we'll leave this one out. Let's do dinner. Oh, I know where this is. <laughs> and you can't eat there anymore. It's been closed a long time. Um, yeah, I really like the treatment of this. I don't know if the, the sky was well, was that gray or if you, you converted it to black and white. Um, but regardless, um, I really like the tones very much like the tones in this photo. In this photo, I like the little bit of blue. I love the the cropping on it. Um, I love the the word exit coming down and the fact that you can see it very well and read it. Uh, this is this is very nicely seen, very nicely cropped, and nicely processed. And we're going to keep this in. Red ornament. I like this. I really like this. This this is another well seen. Um, I love the the resting on the um, the wet fact that the ornament's resting on all this gold in the bottom and the light coming in on it. Um, it looks like you're getting a little bit of lens flare on in the upper right corner that um, maybe you could darken down a little bit and um, and correct. Um, but this is this is nicely done. We're we're going to keep this in. The red is great. Love it. Searching for significance. Hmm. Very nicely composed, um, interesting um, processing on this. It's really good to see that your club um, isn't afraid to use the tools available in post-processing to uh, make an image artistic. Um, I find this to be very artistic. Love the colors. Uh, I love the placement of the person on the beach. Um, 
very interesting. The ocean's very interesting. I love the shadow that this person's casting. This, this is very, very nicely done. Let me keep this in. Someone's home. You guys see the face? I see two eyes, a nose, a mouth, <laughs> and maybe an ear, and some hair coming down. <laughs> um, it's pretty. Um, I, I like that that you can see the uh, I like the texture the green and the, the beige. Um, I'm a little bothered by the brick on the right. Um, I think I almost would would rather and this is just just me. Um, and you, you feel free to disagree, but I almost would just rather concentrate on the, the beige and the green section and forget about the bricks off in the side. Um, they're they're a little distracting. Um, but yeah, no, let's leave this one out. Out for a stroll. Nice. Um, I like the placement. I like the cropping. I like all of the um, veins and textures and the leaves. But again, we have the problem here with the most important part of the animal is not in focus. And that's, that's the eye, where the eye is. The shell is what's in focus here. Um, so let, let's leave this one in now, because everything else about it is, is very nice. Between the lines. It is definitely between the between the lines. I like the texture and the clouds, um, and I like the bird. But honestly, I'm not real crazy about the lines um, that they're, they're competing for my attention with the bird because they're they're all the same color. Everything else is muted, and the bird is and the lines are the, the most prominent thing. So it's well named because um, it certainly is a bird between the lines, but um, I, think, I think we'll leave this one out. Needs work. <laughs> Barn boards are so interesting. Um, this, this is well composed. Uh, and, and well photographed. Um, I like um, I like the placements. I like the fact that I can see the shadows underneath the white section. You know, it'd be very easy for me to for all the detail in that area to have been lost, and and it's not. It's 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 there for me to see. Um, it looks like the photographer chose a, a an interesting section of this structure. Um, it almost looks like a, a, if you think about it, it almost looks like the white would be the field for a, for a flag, it almost looks like a flag. Um, but this is nicely done and we'll keep it in. Looking up. I love that you can see the texture on the bark. That's really nice and the um the yellow in the in the uh, tree and the leading line of the bark going up to the tree and then i like the um out of each corner you have the flares of the other trees and the other leaves so it makes it very nicely composed and then the the center tree has the blue um you know it's 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 defined by the blue that's around the edges of it so this is very well done and we'll keep this in. Moving on. Ah, good job at panning. Yeah, very good job. You really got the um, car nice and sharp and um, um, captured the, uh, the um, 
background um, with the panning. So it's, it's it, this is this is pretty well done. Um, exposure looks good. Um, this is this can be hard to do. This is this is this is pretty good. So we'll leave this one in. Power line to infinity. Hmm. I like the two sets of power lines, and the one at the bottom, and the the then the larger ones, and all the clouds. This is very pretty. Uh, if if power lines can be pretty, they're very pretty. Um, this is a nice nice image. Um, uh, we're definitely keeping this in. Nice image. Okay, I think that was it. So now okay. we've got uh, 29 uh, pictures to rescore. These okay. we're going to do seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Um, Orchid offshoots. Okay, now I probably don't need to say very much now, Harvey, because I've mostly commented on this. Right. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be an eight. Eight? Mm hmm Yellowstone Terrace. And actually, I didn't comment on these first two, so let me do that now. Um, this, I like, um, the photographer did a really good job capturing the white in this. This would have been very easy to have been blown out. Um, so either they they did a nice job making sure that all the whites were were actually captured. Um, and I like the the snow cone effect of it, and I like the composition of this. Um, it's an eight. Textured concrete. This is a nine. I love the composition. Juggler silhouette. Uh, also a nine. Nicely captured. Want a cup? Um, this is an eight. Waiting? Uh, nine. What's inside of a cat's head when staring out of the window? <laughs> um, this is real cute, really cute. This is a nine. Leaves? On um, eight. Macy's Thanksgiving Parade? This is a nine. Rust painting? An um, eight. Red door? Also an eight. Happy as a lark? <laughs> um, eight. Explosion? Eight. Stand tall? Nine. Halloween? Nine. Ultra abstraction? Nine. Silent? Nine. Ryan's truck? Uh, eight. Forgotten Pier? Eight. Ready for your close up? Nine. Me in the sun? Eight. Let's do dinner? Nine. Red ornament? Nine. Searching for significance? Nine. Out for a stroll? Eight. Needs work? Eight. Looking up? Nine. Moving on? Eight. Power line to infinity? Nine. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, 
15 to pick uh, first, second, third, and I guess then the rest become honorable mention. Okay. And let me. Yes, you can run through them. I'm sorry? Will you be able to run through them for me? Uh, yeah. Uh, I was trying to, I don't remember how to make uh, the. Uh, yeah, I don't remember either. It's a Harvey. Or, v. Uh, Harvey. Yes. The V. V? Yeah. Just hit the V, I think. Uh, there okay. you go. There Thank we you. Go. And now I can just go back and forth through them like this. That's right. Okay. You need a first, second, and a third. Yep. Harvey, can I ask, have you. Have, has the board decided that everything that gets a nine is an honorable mention? Uh, the only reason I bring it up is that it'll be impossible to put this on the website. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, you'll have to, I, I don't know if uh, Flo or Bobby want to unmute themselves and make a comment on that. And the other, the other thing I just, let me just make a comment that if we do a first round comment and everything on the next round, you're going to be going at least two hours because <laughs> you got 125 photos. 129, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what are you saying? We uh, sh yeah. shorten, shorten the comments is what we're I saying. Can I can shorten the comments. Yeah. Um, I'm not as far as all the nines, um, what we have done in the past is uh, not only won't it be on the website, but we can't even hang that many pictures plus right. the other group. Might, I, might I make a suggestion? In the past, we had first, second, and third, and then a limited number of honorable mentions, um, no, like we, maybe three or four. Well, we, I can we pick have, out honorable mentions as well if you like. If you want to give well, me a number. That's what my club does. What we, we do. have What we had done in the past, and let me just say, and then you can give us a suggestion. We did last year, we, we hung first, second, and third of each group, and then we put all the honorable mentions on the, um, that televised screen they have in the lobby. Uh, we could discuss it. So Debbie, if you wanna give us your suggestion. Um, whatever, whatever you guys want. Our, our club does first, second, third, and then depending on the number of images, um, several HMs. Okay, we have a total of 15 images here, I think. I so, think three HMs is probably a good number to aim for. Okay. Sounds reasonable. I agree. You might want to extend it with the next group because you got 129 photos, but I think that that's a good suggestion. So oh, she's going to pick three out of the uh, 15 for HMs? Well, you're going to pick the first, second, and third. Right, right. And then three honorable mentions. Okay. That's okay. um, it's 20%. I think if you use that as a rule, that's great. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll run through them again. They're all very different from each other, which I guess is would be because they're from all your different contests. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the HMs first. Uh, we're going to do, well, you know, let me do first, second, and third first. Um, let's do... Third place is going to be. Um, you can you can stop because I'm not being able to see the edges now. Okay, can you move it off off to the right some? Okay, I think we're going to do the black and white trees as first. The black and white tree is first. Yeah. 
that, this one? Yeah. Okay. The one to the left of that, the um, abstract. Um, yeah, whatever those are. That's going to be second. Okay. And third. What's off beyond the red um, hole there? Off, all the way to the right. Yeah, I'm going there. Okay. Yeah, the um, woman on the beach will be third. And you need three HMs. Um, definitely moms. Um, the elephant. And can I see off to the left again? I think that first abstract. Sure, you see which one? The first one, the one you're on now. Okay. Really great images. It's very, very hard. And I'll go a lot faster. I didn't realize you had that many images in your second group. So. Okay. So now we have. First place. Second place. Third place. And honorable mention. And let's see, a review contest. Somewhere along the line, I seem to have lost my review. Harvey, the review contest button is way over on the right. Yeah, I know, but somehow or other, my. What happened? There it is. The uh, images of people were, were over it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Stonebridge Photography Club, best of year, group one. Honorable mention, textured concrete, Diane Kuzlansky. Congratulations, Diane. Ready for your close-up, Flo Emin. Congratulations, Flo. Let's do dinner, Flo, again. You're cleaning up, Flo. Uh, third place, Walter Blitz. Congratulations. Uh, again, Walter. And Flo, you guys oh, come down. Huh. That's why you got moved into the first group one, uh, group two rather. Okay. All right, we'll go a lot faster on these. Okay. You have 129? 129. This is the group two, so, you know. The... You, yeah, I know. You almost sound like you need a split between you know an intermediate and then uh, very advanced we so, did and uh, somewhere along the line it, we, we we got rid of it i don't know <laughs> excuse me that that's not exactly so group the first group you did that was a combination of intermediate and beginner okay so that the others um you know are all advanced wow what you're doing now is all is all advanced wow Okay. Okay, this is group two. Lily in the garden. This is in and out. Okay, it's in. Nice colors, nice abstract. I like the vignette. Busy promenade, test Hungary. Um, gonna say out. Um, I'm finding it a little busy. I don't know where my eyes should be stopping. Fresh melon. Um, in. Uh, I like the colors. 
and the drop composition. Good. Guitar merged on Rusty Bus. I'm going to say out on this. Um, it's nice. It just doesn't doesn't grab me the way some of the others do. Christmas floating lights. Uh, I'm going to say out. I, I like it, but I don't like the white up in the upper right corner. I find that distracting. Three is a crowd. <laughs> That's a nice capture. We're keeping that one in. Very cute. Flowers in window. Uh, in. I like the composition. Love all the textures. Love the red flowers, the pop of the red. Very, very nice. Engine 796. Um, nice capture of a train, uh, but not like anything real, real special. So we're going to say out. Joshua Tree. Um, I'm going to say out on this also. Um, uh, I, I like the, the, the layers of color in it. Um, But it's it's just not 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 special. But it's a nice it's an it's a nice capture. Vincent Van Bernbaum. <laughs> um, that's interesting. That is interesting. Um, it definitely has Van Gogh colors in it. Um, interesting processing, uh, and I like the red border actually. I'll leave this one in. Swirl Persian buttercup. Um, let's go out on this one. Um, it's pretty. I'm sorry. It's okay. Egret and reflection. Um, looks a little grainy to me, so I think we'll say out. The bird looks grainy. Next up, Southern New Zealand. Interesting to uh, capture this in black and white. Um, it looks like there's some overprocessing though in the clouds. And there also looks like there's a spot uh, in the clouds, um, almost in the middle towards the very top that needs to be cloned out. So out on this one. Tiger Lily. Nicely done. Um, in on this one. I like the stamen in, in, in um, sharp focus and all those colors in the back and they're in pretty good focus too. Sierra Madre. Pretty good, good rule of thirds on this one. Um, but uh, I'm gonna say out. Heaven or hell? I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's nicely done. It's it's interesting. I think it's two images combined. Um, so I'm going to say in on this one. What a cowgirl needs her guitar and boots. Um, composition's a little busy. Um, and nice objects but um i think together they might be a little too much and the hat on the right is blown out so we'll say out on this one watching with dad in awe definitely in um i like the angle on this very very much um and i like the um i call it the breathing room off to the right so they're kind of centered off to the left um, like the lighting on their faces, um, well processed, well seen, very nice. You said in, right? Oh yeah. Hey, Kitty. Ooh. Interesting, interesting treatment. Um, nice and sharp. Um, let's keep this one in. 
Helmetta Dowager? Uh, I'm gonna say out on this. It's it's nice, but not, not as nice as some of the others. Double rose. Um, nice treatment. Let, let's keep this one in. Two on a beach. Um, I'm going to say out and only because it's they're just a little too far away. I I I want to see them a little bit closer. It's just a little too far for my taste. Cape May Lighthouse 2021. Um, it's a nice capture of the lighthouse. Um, but um, there's there's been some others that I think capture other things better, so well, I will say out. Garden patch. Um, I'm going to say out. There's something about the size of the butterflies compared to the flower that is is just, and this is just my opinion, but it's just bothering me a little bit. It's like they should be bigger or the flowers should be smaller. That's the artist's choice though. Fallen. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say out. Um, doesn't look totally, well, maybe it is sharp. Keeping it, it's, it, it's nice. I thought it wasn't sharp, but it is. Bottle top. Uh, I'm going to say out because the center of the bottle on the, the part where you drink from is, is out of focus and that's part of the main subject of what you're looking at. Icelandic horse and rider. Um, we'll keep it in. I would have preferred to see the, the top little trees, those brown things are a little distracting up there. I think they could have been cropped out, um, but it is a nice capture and definitely a good capture of, of motion of the um, horse's feet. Blue hour over AC. Um, Pretty nicely done. Um, I kind of don't like the, the railing. I know you can't do anything about it, but it kind of stops my eye from going out and looking into the scenery. So we're going to leave this one out. Famous tree of Ravello. Yeah, that's, def that's a nice capture of an a, a important tourist. Um, location. Um, but I'm going to say out on this one. Junkyard geometry. Um, I like I like the titles very apt for this. It is there are a lot of geometric points in it. Uh, I like the colors. I like the textures. I like the geometry. Um, we'll keep it in. Rose, rose raindrops are falling. Keep it in, that's very pretty. Very nicely done. I like the capture of the drops. Cherry blossom canopy. Um, these are cherry blossoms. I, I, I think I'd like to see them a little pinker. Uh, and the green off on the left is a little distracting. So I think we'll take this one out. Time for Aruba. Mm, nice spot, huh? Um, I'll be there next week. Oh, have fun. Um, what a beautiful place. I um, think we'll leave this one out, though. Wood Lily. Yeah, I like the texture overlay. Um, 
We'll leave it in. Barren branches. Nicely seen. Um, like the composition. Um, a nice, good eye. Keep this one in. More Xmas than you can handle. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, this is great, except for that one little patch of whatever the heck that is in the bottom right corner, somebody's head or something. It, it just stops my eye uh, and, that's, and it's too bad. Um, we'll leave this one out. Country fair. Nicely done. Um, country fair, all this beer? Wow, um, I like this though. Let's let's keep this in. I like the splash of colors in the middle. Christmas coming attractions. Huh. Uh, I think we'll leave this one out. I, I'm not seeing anything like, like it's not sharp enough for me, for my eye. Visitors parking lot. <laughs> Good sense of humor. Um, there's an awful lot to look at here. Um, yeah, my eye does go to that visitor's parking because of the um, the fact that there's letters on it. But um, I don't know. I, I maybe maybe if you honed in on that sign. But to me, the overall composition is a little busy. So it's out. Yeah. Junkyard Gem. Uh, I'm going to say out on this one also. Just the, the um, red streamers are just kind of distracting. Day Lily. You guys must have had like a abstract flower contest. Um, Pretty. I like I like the treatment. Let's let's keep this one in. Holiday decoration. Wow, I don't know if this was posed or this was just seen, but whatever it was, um, it's nice. It's very nice. Love the shadows, like the color, like the composition, um, good exposure. This one's in. Downtown Philly and Christmas. Um, I'm gonna say out that there's not a lot of center of interest. You do see the two people, but, um, and I understand the Photographer is trying to capture the whole scene, but by doing that, there's you really can't focus as well as you might on um, on the two people in the picture, which I think is your subject, your main subject. Twin Rose Garden. Um, I think we'll leave this one out compared to some of the other abstracts. I think their compositions were a little better. Moving out. Um, I think we'll leave this one out. It's, um, train looks a little out of focus. Waiting for summer. Um, it's an interesting capture. Um, the sky looks a little over processed, so I think we'll leave this one out. A little too blue. Who's your past vista? Um, it's pretty nice. It's a it's a little flat. I I know this pass actually, and um, it's probably not the best time of day to to be capturing it. Uh, it also looks like there's some. Again, some spots or something going on on the 
the right and the blue sky. So we'll leave this one out. Back view at sunset. Hmm. Another interesting abstract. Um, I'll leave this one out. I've got my eye on you. Um, I'm going to leave this one out. Um, it's well exposed, and I like that. And um, I like the texture and the fur. The only thing that's bothering me, if, if it were me, I think I would have muted or, or uh, desaturated the greens in the background. They're just a little too bright, and they're competing with the subject. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> that's great. What can I say? That's great. Leave it in. Great textures, great expression. <laughs> Coneflower at night, full moon. Wow. Um, I like the coneflower. The vignette seems a little on the heavy side to me, especially on the right. I don't think I would have vignetted it quite as much. Otherwise, it would have been good. Um, but we'll leave this one out. At the tree lighting. Uh, I think we'll leave this one out because the 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 boy in front of the tree, there there's no nothing in focus there. And then it kind of stops my eye and I, I go to the tree, which is in focus, but he's kind of stopping me from, from really seeing the tree. And there's also some flare going on in the bottom, in the right on the blue with some blue. Rooftop abstract. Nicely seen. Um, and um, I like the rule of thirds. And I like, I actually like the chimney kind of cutting the, the other third. So let's leave this in. It's interesting. Sorrow. Wow. Boy, it really makes you wonder what's going on. Really very interesting. Um, I like this. Let's keep this. Santa visits on 4th of July. <laughs> nice capture. Looks like a real, you know, hometown USA kind of uh, kind of thing. Um, but uh, I think we'll leave this one out. A little busy. Red and pale blue. Um, I, th I think we'll leave it out. The, the, the blue as it cuts through, uh, it has no definition or texture. So it just kind of is cutting across the interest, something of which does look interesting in the background. So I think we'll leave this one out. Friendly iguana. <laughs> nice capture of the, the textures on his body. Um, uh, good sharp focus. Um, but I think we'll, we'll leave this one out. His master's voice. Hmm. I like the composition on this. It's it's um, it very um, uh, ni nicely nicely. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, restrained. Um, I like the 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 um, the cropping is restrained on this, um, and I like it. So we'll keep this one in. Dahlia night sky. Interesting to see it in black and white. It makes the out the um makes the background look very interesting too. 
Um, yeah, we'll keep this one in. Cardinal in a snowfall, up close. Oh. That's a nice capture of a, a cardinal. Um, I wish there was a little more interest in the background. I know it's snowing and probably wasn't much to see, but um, I, I think we'll leave this one out. Another grainy day. <laughs> it is indeed grainy. Nice composition. Um, Interesting, interesting sub subject, interesting capture, um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Skybird. Now there's there's a an example of where somebody captured a bird and did a real and it, and it's a white bird and did a really nice job with um, getting all of the detail in the feathers. Um, does kind of bother me though that the the bottom wing is kind of tailing off. Um, I feel like I should be seeing the rest of it. Um, so I, I think we'll leave this one out. Waterfall in black and white. Mm. Um, I like the capture of the fall itself and the um, the slow motion and the, was done with a um, fairly slow shutter speed. The um, wood in the upper part of the photo I'm finding distracting and it's taking away from me looking at the actual waterfall. I think this could have been stronger if that whole top section in my mind was cut off and it was made into a horizontal picture with just the waterfall. But that's that's just what I would do. So I think we'll leave this one out. Dilapidated door. Good capture, good textures, good composition. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Jackson's chameleon. Hmm. I think we're going to leave this out and it's because there's so much of the guy's hand in there and the hand isn't in focus what the animal is it's that the the hand because it's a light color is competing with the animal. Uh, which is a shame because it's a really interesting looking creature and um, very nice, nicely captured in the textures. Um, but I think we'll leave this out. Armed robbery. Uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually bothering me that it's on its side. Um, so I, I think we'll leave this one out. Rose paint splash. That's pretty. I like the I like the texture effect on that and the um, the colors in the background very nicely pick up the rose. And we'll keep this one in. Um, shadows. Interesting to have this in black and white. Um, I think this is nicely done and I, um, let's keep it in. Get ready, getting ready to land. Nice, there's a good bird capture. Very nice. Um, not much more to say. Good, good texture in the wings, nice sharp eye. Um, definitely good high shutter speed, captured the action. Um, keep this in. Hope we go where we land, nobody knows. <laughs> 
hot air balloons are so much fun to photograph. Um, yeah, like the, um, I like the colors and the textures and it's a, a nice composition, um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Contemplation. Um, kind of interesting the the arm needs the the arm that's going up to her head needs a little more i think the, the pixels are there um but i think they need to be brought up a little bit more because my eye goes right to that as the brightest spot um and i don't want it to i should probably be looking more at her face but i'm getting distracted by the arm so i think it needs to have more definition brought up and darkened down a little bit um, so we'll take this one out. Rick and Warren Wood. Um, nice capture, interesting combination of textures, good exposure. Um, we'll keep this one in. Leaning tunnel. Hmm. I like, I like the concept, but I think something has to, in my opinion, I, I would just straighten something like maybe the, the doorway where the person's walking through. Um, but you know what, let's, let's keep this one in because this is, this is interesting. And I know the photographer did that on purpose, so. Donut, I haven't seen any donuts. <laughs> Oh, I had a cute pooch. Uh, that's a nice portrait. Um, I, I, I do like it, um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Window shopping. Hmm. I think I think the composition might have been a little stronger on this if you cut out all those windows on the right and focus just on the section that has the um, um, the white mannequins in it and the, the lettering. Um, I would have probably cropped it a little bit on the left and definitely quite a bit on the right. Um, I think we'll leave this one out. Dazzled cone flower. Hmm. Pretty. Um, I like the color combinations. I love the orange. I love the cone flowers. They're great. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Gull at sunrise. Um, I'm finding the gull a little dark and I'm seeing some graininess and the shadows need to be brought up in, in the gall and the, the grain needs to be brought down. Um, um, it's a good capture of the, the sunrise though. It's a good time to be out and clouds are interesting, but I think we'll leave this one out. Let there be light. Um, nicely seen, very interesting. Um, I like the composition, nicely exposed. I like the light bulb. I like the shadow of the light bulb, but let's leave this one in. Monica surprise. <laughs> cute, cute expression on her face. Um, I like the blue nail polish. I like the cropping on it. Um, but I think we will lose, we'll leave this one out. Rusty guitar. It's interesting. Um, let's, let's leave this one in. 
sisters at the farm. <laughs> That's really neat. Lots, I love looking at this. It's, it's, uh, it's nicely done. Um, my only criticism would be bringing up the shadows on the right a little bit or cropping it over just, just a hair. Uh, but let's leave this one in. Needs a bit of paint. Nice textures, um, nice colors. <laughs> I like the composition. Um, let's leave this one in. The Sony of my Oni. <laughs> Cute title. I like the angle on this. It was kind of, it was an uh, interesting capture. Um, we're gonna leave this one out. Gladiola Serenity. Um, it's, it's pretty capture the flowers, um, but I think we'll leave this one out too. 1934 Ford, black and white. Hmm. I like the, the, uh, grill, um, and the capture of the grill and the capture of the light. What I don't like as much as all the, um, I don't know what they are, but the, the things that are coming out from behind the, uh, the light, it's just kind of taking my eyes there and I don't want it to be there. I wanna keep it off to the right of the photo. So I think we'll leave that one out. Snakeskin. Um, nice, neat. Very, very nicely done. Um, we'll, we'll leave this one in. Interesting textures and combinations of textures. Hold on. <laughs> nice, but his eye is not um, uh, sharp. So I think we'll, we'll leave this one out. Go where the music calls to the mountains. Oh, how interesting. Huh. I'm just looking to see how this was done. I'm just finding it very, very interesting um, and, and creative. Uh, it's an interesting um, combination of photos. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. I got the blues. Oh, cute baby. Um, definitely a photo to keep. You know, we love our pets. Um, and uh, this is this is a wonderful capture of a, a very cute dog. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Find a yellow rose. Uh, I like it. I don't like the upper right hand corner. Um, it's defined in a way that none of the rest of the background is. And I, I just don't like it as much. Um, so I, I think we'll leave this one out. Christmas night scene. That would make a great Christmas card. I hope whoever's photo this is makes it into a Christmas card. This is very nicely done. Um, this is good, nicely seen. Let's keep this one in. Please use the side entrance. <laughs> Um, 
nice colors, nice texture. Um, I think we'll leave this one out. Nice day. Wow, this looks like a, 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 a Wyeth painting. Andrew Wyeth, very nice. Um, definitely keep in. Keep in? Yeah. Oil and water. I have no idea how you did that, but it's really pretty. Um, the only thing I might've done is that upper left corner, I think I would have brought that because it's so bright, my eye is going up there and I don't want it to. So I would have brought that down a little bit in terms of tone or, you know, maybe vignette. No, I wouldn't have vignetted this because it's too nice. Um, but just that upper left hand corner, I would do something about that. Um, so I think for that, we'll leave this one out. Sun kissed. Nice composition, I like it. You know, the, the definitely the three in there is good. Um, it does bother me a little bit though that those two glasses are so close to the edge of the frame, both on the left and the right. But other than that, it's it's great. But just because of that, I think we'll, we'll leave it out. Nicely lit. Lily pod. Um, it's pretty, but, um, I think, I think we'll leave this one out. Drop in ripples. Huh. That's interesting. Um, the graininess on it's bothering me a little bit, but it, it's just such a great capture of, of such a moment in time. Um, so let's, let's leave this one in. Obstructed view. It looks like another Wyeth, but in black and white. Um, I like this, let's keep this in, pretty. Storm. Oh, great capture. Look at that. I almost wish the cars weren't in there because they're bright and I just want to look at those houses and the lightning. Um, really cool, really cool experience to uh, something to see. Um, Nice sharp focus on this and, and good good uh, treatment of the clouds. Um, but I think we will leave this one out. Pollen, pollen, pollen. Yeah, I like the composition on this. Um, I like him off to the right. I, I kind of wish I could see his face. Um, obviously, he just has his head down. Um, I love the the orange and the the, the sharpness of this is 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 just super. Um, but I think we're going to leave it out. Random books on shelf. I like the colors. I like the fact that it's kind of almost monotone, blue, blue and gold and blackish blue and gold. Um, I like that aspect of it, um, but I think we'll leave this one out too. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's clever. It really is. Um, let's, let's leave this in. That's very clever. Fire in the sky. Wow. 
Look at that sunset. Yeah, ni nicely captured, uh, amazing color, of course. Um, I like the leading lines of the um, the, the um, pier and the, the piece of land on the right. Um, I wish that one branch wasn't there, the one on the left that's sticking out from the other foliage. I think I would have gotten rid of that because <clears throat> it just doesn't seem to go with anything else. Um, nice capture, but I, I think we'll leave this one out. Beyond saving. I would agree. Not sure where my point of focus is in this picture. Um, you know, it's, it's an interesting building, but, um, I guess I'm looking at the doorway. Um, but I, I think we'll leave this one out. African water buffalo. Wow. Um, I like it. I like the um, the way he's eating and the, the 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 strands coming out of his mouth and the roundness of him and the roundness of his of his uh, tusks. I'm not sure. I'm real crazy about the processing on this. I I'd almost would like to see it just more more of a natural processing and this looks like more of a, a painterly and you know that's a personal choice but I, I think with a wildlife creature like this I think this image could stand on its own as just a, a nice um, natural uh, naturally processed wildlife image so I think we'll leave this one out oil and water up close more bubbles and nothing distracting in this. Um, this is nice. Um, I think we'll we'll keep this in. Good colors. Um, I like the the placement of the two big bubbles in the middle. Place for my eye. Don't you dare. <sighs> Very cool vignetting. And, and necessary here because, um, you know, obviously there was an awful lot of patterns and we needed to focus our attention on the dog and would not have without the vignetting that was done. Um, love the coloring, um, very nice. I would almost have vignetted that pillow out a little bit more too, because my eyes going to that a little bit. Um, but I, I do really like this. Let's keep this in. Three. <laughs> Three blueberries. Looks like they're in some uh, yogurt. Um, yeah, it's a good composition. Um, nice idea. I like that part of it. Uh, but I think we'll leave this one out. One way. I like all this. I like all the shapes. Um, it's that's this is nicely seen. Um, let's leave this in. Eagle. Well, that's an angle you don't usually see, and the eye is in focus. Um, it's nice. Um, again. I, I find the greenery in the bottom to be competing with his feathers. So I would I would maybe have desaturated that or did, done something with it. Um, vignetted it, I don't, I'm not sure what, but um, I'm finding that's distracting me a little bit, unfortunately. So I think we'll leave this one out. Have a cuppa. Yeah, that's nice. Um, 
I'm going to say it again. I'm, you know, it's just my thing, but I would like a little breathing room at the top, just a little bit more at the top, just a hair about to give that because the, the, the steam is going towards the top and you wanna have some place for it to go. And it kind of just cuts off a little bit too much for me. Um, but it's nicely done, but I think we'll leave this one out. Up here, black and white. Okay. Leads my eye out to infinity. Um, I like that it's in black and white. That's that's interesting. I like the little puffy clouds. Um, kind of an interesting day, and the the bird adds a nice touch. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Two eyebrow and three frame windows. Mm -hmm. Good textures, good composition. I like the three and then the two. Um, it's uh, it's nicely done, um, but I think we'll leave this one out also. Bird of prey. Ah. Yeah, he's on that man's, uh, I forget what you call those gloves. They have a special name. Gauntlets? Gauntlets, yeah. Yeah, very pretty. Um, a little saturated for my taste. Um, so I think we'll we'll leave this out. Posing. Oh wow. That's that's a beautiful capture. Very, very beautiful capture. Whoever's uh, animal that is, they're very lucky to have this photograph. Um, so um, yeah, leave this one in. The thrill of the chase. <laughs> My chickens do that. <laughs> Not in the water though. <laughs> That's cute. Um, To me, it looks a little grainy. I love the action. I mean, that, that's just so great. What a wonderful capture. Um, but I'm, I'm seeing a graininess to it that's, that's kind of bothering me a little bit. Uh, so I think we'll leave this one out. I got you covered. That's neat. You know, it looks huge, but it's probably just a regular size flag. It's just the, the way it was captured that makes it look so big. Um, very interesting. We'll keep this one in. Monaco at night. I, I like the way your eye is drawn to the very center of this photo, um, and it's done with the vignetting. Um, I think I might vignette it a little bit less, but um, that's just my taste, but I do really like this. Let's keep this in. Red Roadster. Hmm. I like the composition. Um, I like the use of the spot color. Um, I am spending an awful lot of time though, looking at the palms and stuff in the background. And I think I really wanna be looking at the car. So I'm finding it a little busy. Um, so I link, think we'll leave this one out. Mom's diner where the ghosts of the elite meet to eat. <laughs> and it's available. <laughs> it's been available for so long that uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever going to take it, except for the land. Um, I like the treatment of this. Um, the the, the um, almost, um, what's the word? Infrared nature of it. Um, so uh, let's, let's keep this in. 
short haul carrier. Hmm. It's an interesting capture. Um, I, I think we'll leave this one out. Woman on a bicycle. It's a very interesting composition. I really like it. Um, I like the cobblestones. I like the leading lines out to that uh, archway, the steps on the right, um, really tells a story. Um, let's leave this in. It's just rust. <laughs> yes, it is rusty. I do like the colors in this and um, the round, the various round compositions and the, the leaves in the bottom. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. A convoluted mesh. Hmm. Interesting, um, interesting sight. Interesting what the, the photographer saw here. Um, I like the, the meaning of all of the, um, the wires there sort of in the bottom right. Uh, the framing is bothering me a little bit because it's so bright, but um, it's, it's a nice capture, um, but I think we'll leave it out. Stone hallway. Nice. I love the blockiness and the the just the solid colors and all the 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 lines and all the rectangles that are that are in here and the broken up rectangles. And we'll leave this in. Out of whole cloth. Hmm. Interesting. Um, interesting composition. Um, I like the um, the feathering featheriness of it is nice, and I like the the kind of monotone nature. Um, but I think we'll leave this out. Weathered oars. Interesting textures. I like the the horizontal lines. Uh, the white in the middle catches my eye. Um, but I think we'll leave this one out. Welcoming. <laughs> Pretty. Um, I I like the reflection of the season's greetings on the on the bench itself, um, and the the white lights going in, uh, across the fence in the back. Um, you know, add a lot of interest. So it's it's a nice capture, uh, nicely seen, um, but I think we will leave it out. Shattered shutter. Good capture, good textures, nice shadows. Let's let's leave it in. Okay, we have forty nine that have to get seven, eight, and nine. Okay, that'll be quick. Lily in the garden. Okay, this is an eight. Fresh melon. Eight. Three's a crowd. Eight. Flowers in window. Nine. Vincent Van Bernbaum. Eight. Tiger Lily. Seven. Heaven or Hell. Seven. Watching with Dad in awe. Nine. 
Hey, Kitty. Hey. Double rows. Seven. Fallen. Seven. Icelandic horse and rider. Seven. Junkyard geometry. Seven. Rose raindrops are falling. Seven. Wood lily. Seven. Marin branches. Nine. Country fair. Nine. Daylily. Eight. Holiday decoration. Nine. Mr. and Mrs. Nine. Rooftop abstract. Eight. Sorrow. Nine. His master's voice. Seven. Dahlia night sky. Eight. Rose paint splash. Nine. Palm shadows. Eight. Getting ready to land. Nine. Brick and worn wood. Eight. Leading leaning tunnel. Seven. Let there be light. Seven. Rusty guitar. Seven. Sisters at the farm. Eight. Needs a bit of paint. Seven. Snakeskin. Eight. Christmas night scene. Eight. Nice day. Nine. Drop and ripples. Seven. Obstructed view. Eight. Uh -huh. Eight. Oil and water up close. Nine. Don't you dare. Eight. One way. Seven. Posing. Nine. I got you covered. Eight. Monaco at night. Eight. Mom's diner where the ghosts of the elite meet to eat. Eight. Woman on a bicycle. Nine. Stone hallway. Eight. Shattered shutter. Seven. Okay. We now have 13 to score. Uh, to pick uh, first, second, third, and I guess we'll go with three honorable mentions. Mario, Bobby, I think that sounds yeah. good, Arvi. You had 15 and you did 20%. Keep the same thing, I think. Okay. Right, Flo? Bobby? You okay? We could fit that on the website, too. Bobby, Flo, <laughs> any comment? Are you still awake? Can't hear you, Bobby. Take yourselves off mute. Uh, yeah, I think that sounds good. Okay, thank you. That's what we did for the other group, right? So we'll right, do... and we had about the same number. Yeah. Of of uh, of Nine. names. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then. we'll we'll do first, second, third, and three honorable mentions. 
I have to tell you guys, this is very hard. There's some excellent images that landed in the, uh, even landed in the sevens and eights. Okay, uh, I've got the thumbnails. You want me to walk through them? Yes, please. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't watching the bottom. <laughs> Wow, this is a hard one. Can you just um, stop on the um, the one with the the black and white with the woman with her head and hands, her hands. The woman with the what? Her head in the hands between the, the lion and the flower. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. This is first? Um, yes. And second is going to be the... Wait a second. Somebody's trying to join. Hand. I don't know whether... <laughs> That's just really very, I don't know if it was posed or it was prob probably was posed, but it, whatever it was, it was a great idea and nicely done. So what is this? That's going to be first. Okay. And then um, second is going to be the one that I said. Wait a like second. Hold on a second. Sorry. Um, okay. Okay. My, my computer lost the focus, that's okay. Okay. Um, second's gonna be that one, the Wyeth. One Which? I'm the Wyeth, this one right here. This one second? Yeah. And uh, third will be the um, little boy and the man. Okay. And now we do the three honorable well, mentions. Yeah. I <clears throat> um, he says they're paying for my mortgage already. It doesn't matter. Somebody mute, please. So, yeah. I mean, how getting, now in Brooklyn, they're getting like, and these little it's on the iPhone. Somebody please mute. We're on your phone. Who's that? Damn, yeah. Is this one you wanted? Yes. This is honorable mention? Yes. Okay. Um, and where was the, uh, the ribbon? The ribbon, okay. And the third one? Um, hmm. Yeah, could I see the um, third, the, oh, we, um, yeah, that's going to be the other one. Wait a second. I think I just did something. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be the other one. This what? This is yeah. going to be? Flowers, yeah. Okay. They're all so different. Okay. Great photos. Let's see if I didn't screw this up at all. <laughs> Harvey? Yeah? Hold on one second. Did you give something a seven? I'm that sorry. Was third, that was third place, yeah. Uh, you should have first, second, third, and three honorable mentions, right? Right. You're okay, right. I think, I think that's what you got. I got thrown by that seven over there. Yeah. I think you're okay, though. Okay. Yeah, I think I am, too. Sorry. You scared, you scared me for a second there, but it's, it's I'm right. I'm sorry. I wanted to catch you before you did it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's right. We got three, first, second, third, and 
three honorable mentions. And review contest. Okay, best of year, group two. Honorable mention, flowers in window, Dan Sudberg. Uh, holiday decoration, Mario Dini. Congratulations, Mario. Uh, Mario again, honorable mention. You set such different photos. Uh, watching with dad and all, Diane, Diana, congratulations. Second place, Harvey Birnbaum. He got there even without his face in the picture. First place, Harvey Birnbaum. Yeah. Yeah, I know Harvey too. Yeah, very nice job. Okay. Uh, we're done. Very good. Really excellent. Thank you so much for having me. This was very, very difficult. You know, taking the best of the best and then whittling it down is, is not easy. Um, and you've got a great group of photographers in your club here. Okay, uh, if everybody wants to has comments so they can uh, unmute themselves. If you, any, uh, anybody I, have any questions for uh, Debbie? I first would just like to say she had a very, very hard job. The pictures were all wonderful. And um, hats off to you, Debbie. Great yeah, job. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Debbie. It was, I know you went through a lot here tonight. <laughs> yeah, boy. Very different, I have to tell you. <laughs> it's very unusual to have 120 images in one, one category. <laughs> a lot. Well, we, it's we, a co culmination, of, <laughs> culmination of seven different comp competitions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. Very good. Thank Debbie, you. I'm curious in, in your club, we we take out all the eights and nines and put them in the best of year. Do you do anything similar to that in, in your club? No, we take the first place from every contest and then our members vote on which one they want for best of year. No. <laughs> you, don't, you don't use the judge at all. A lot faster and simpler. <laughs> it's very fast. <laughs> it takes one evening. <laughs> Uh, we make, we had so many this year, next year, maybe we ought to consider just doing nines. Mm. Uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. That was excellent. That thank you. You had a hard mm -hmm. job. Yes. Yeah. Very hard. You guys have you're a very talented club. I have to say. Thank That's you. Thank really you. Talented photographers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful thank you. pictures. Beautiful work. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous Congrats to all it, was it was nice to see a whole year's worth of work um, in one yes, it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, you know, right. I have wasn't that all the thing, you know, all the um, different um, contests, but it was, it was a lot Debbie, of nice things. Yeah. I, I have a question. Debbie, see Debbie. you tomorrow night. Who said that? I did, Walter. Oh, Walter, you yes. Have a competition? <laughs> yes. Debbie, can I ask a question? Would it make it any easier if we gave you the themes of where that picture came from? No, no, because um, I mean, those contests were judged against a theme. These are being judged as as just as yeah. photos, as wonderful photos. I so see. no, I, I don't think it would really be, even be good uh, at all to to you know, I could kind of guess what some of the themes were, but um, you know, I would, I don't think it would have helped. By the way, um, our camera club has um, an exhibit right now in the Monroe Library. Um, oh. If you guys, uh, you know, get over that way, if you'd like to take a look, we're in the, that round rotunda. How long did it take you to get there? Because that's, I have the forms, I have to fill them out. I, I was told it takes about a year before they uh, get to you. Yeah. Yeah, um, we haven't been in that that gallery for at least two years. Um, I think it's more than that, right, Bobby? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we've been yeah. there. It was about five years. Yeah, yeah. so I, I have yeah. to fill out the form. Yeah, sitting on my desk. Yeah, it's been several. It yeah. has been several years since we were there. So, but we're we're thrilled, and this is a wonderful time of year to 
you know, possibly have some of our members sell some of their work. Oh, yeah. We'll have to check it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice show. Yeah, it made some really good, 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 uh, good work. Uh, not juried in any way. Just, you know, whoever, whatever they want to put in, they put in and, and people chose well. Did you have any members in the uh, Monroe Township's um, jury show? Because there were three of us. There were three members. Yes. There. We had three um, members. Yes, uh, Lynn Padwe is in our club. Um, she was in, I think Harvey, well, Harvey's in your club too. Yeah, Harvey, Har was, Harvey in our, was in. Yeah. yeah. He was in with your club, he was in with our club too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. And, uh, yeah, Walter was in and I was in. So it was, yeah. it was interesting. It was yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a nice show. I got, I got, I had to get over to see that. Yeah. I, I live in uh, of about 40 minutes south of Monroe. I'm outside of Allentown. Oh, wow. In Upper Freehold. If you've ever been to the William C. Doyle Veterans Cemetery, I'm around the corner mm. from that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm out in the country. Yeah, that's an interesting town. I drove through there once, just once. I never was able to get back, but I thought, oh, this is a good place. You didn't get a, you didn't get a ticket in Allentown? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, the do, they, do, they do a lot of fundraising in Allentown. <laughs> it's the only time I know they did it. The official bypass is so you don't get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to be really careful. They do a lot of fundraising in Allentown. Mm. You know, those of us who live in the area know better, but boy. <laughs> oh, a lot of people. Keep that in mind. Well, yeah. We're lucky that you didn't have to drive up here because you probably would have elected not to do it. Yeah. Uh, 40 minutes each way is a, but no, again, at a night in the dark rose, it's not safe. Yes. Yeah, no, I have to no. go up to my club meeting tomorrow in Cranberry, which is also 40 minutes or almost 40 minutes. So you do, you I, I may elect to stay on Zoom, I don't know. Yes, I think that would be wise. I hate driving at night. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Doesn't get any easier as we get older. No, I'm going to need cataract surgery, but it's not, I'm not ready uh, yet. So everything's got a glow around it. Oh, yes. Oh, my husband had this surgery. He still uh, has yes. it. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, yeah. I had mine and I do see very well at night, but I still don't like driving at night. I think my, re I feel my reflexes aren't yeah. Uh, yeah. what they once were. Yeah. Well, out by me, you have to, you're dodging deer every time you. Oh, yes, we have that here as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun stay home. So we're glad to have Zoom and we're very glad to have had you tonight. Yeah, and I'm sure you must be very, very tired. Thank you very much. Thank you very, much. Thank you very, thank very you. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.